Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to be reviewing which one of these two bad boys to get. The Ox Carbon Pencil or the Pika Dry. Um, they both have individual things about them that I like and don't like. Um, so let's just go through it real quick and see. First of all, we'll try to do a like test. So I'm an electrician, so we're going to do it on electrical material. So cardboard, drywall, um, wood, and of course EMT. And then um, I'll tell you the different features about them that make them unique. And then after that, we'll give a rating which one is Warhammer approved. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so this is going to be the EMT test. So we'll start with the Pika Dry first and go from there. So the Pika Dry, carbon pencil as well, got the long shaft. So when you need to go through holes, you're good to go, you know. So we'll see how it does. Very clear. Oh, let me do it down here so you guys can see very clear very good so that is the pika and then on this side we got the carbon so the carbon's a little bit thinner it's square body which i like um we'll see how that does on the emt right next to it about about the same darkness and thickness they both come with different colors. Um, you can tell real quick that this one is circular and then this one is square. So let's move on to the next stage. So this is going to be cardboard. So once again, we'll start with the Pika. And then we're going to go to the ox. So both about the same, clear. All right. Our final test is going to be on some drywall. So we'll check that out. This is going to be with the Pika. Super clear. That's a little bit. It's a little bit darker, but also very nice. So that was the ox. Now here's a surprise test. So the thing that's nice about these pencils is that they have these little teeth that are supposed to stop it from coming in and out. Same thing with this guy. As you can see, like right here, there are some little teeth that's supposed to grab onto. So once you stick it into your bag, just the pencil comes out. So as you can see in the ox, it comes out perfect, which is really nice. Now let's try the Pika. Comes out very nice. So I would say those are equally very good. So now they both come with little sharpeners. And this is where I think the ox is going to be set apart from the Pika. And I'll show you why. So, on the Pika, the sharpener is at the bottom. So you physically have to take this whole thing out once it's stationary to sharpen your pencil. On the ox, 
the sharpener is right here. So what that means is once it's stationary right there, all you have to do is stick it in right here to get a sharpened pencil, which in my opinion, that is the winner. Because as you can see, everything else was pretty, pretty close. But the ox had some ingenuity going into it with the sharpener on the side, which in my personal opinion made this uh, the clear winner just because of that. Um, they also come with colors, so you can definitely do red, yellow, and black. I'm sure there's more colors, but that is how it goes. They can also work on damp, um, damp uh, surfaces, um, and they're also like wipeable off, which is really nice. Uh, overall, both great products. I think Ox is a clear winner just because of the fact that you can do the sharpened pencil on the side and you never have to take that thing off. Once it's stationary, it becomes permanent and you're good to go. Once again, my name is John Spearman with Warhammer Electric. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, please like and subscribe below. I'll hit the link. Um, for the Ox and the Pico, whichever one you like. Both great products, not going to lie. I'm just personally going to keep the Warhammer approved Ox um, carbon pencil in my bag from now on. And that's just the way it goes. So um, check the links below if you want to get one for yourself. Um, have a great day. You know, Happy New Year's, guys. 2022.